Does it help or hurt when the United States tries to apply pressure? The only solution that we have in Nicaragua at the moment is the pressure that the United States can put on Nicaragua together with and jointly with the European Union, with Canada and with the OAS. What we need is that we need concrete and we need strong measures and strong sanctions, not only to uh, Daniel Ortega, uh, to his family, but as well to him. We need the United States to uh, suspend Nicaragua from the CAFTA, which is the trade agreement that they had with Nicaragua and other countries in Central America. They need to send a clear message, not only the United States, but as well the European Union and Canada, to say that if there are no free, fair and democratic elections in Nicaragua, that Nicaragua, uh, the government, will be regarded as illegitimate. Those are the things that we need. But, but, but let me ask you on that point, Bianca Jagger, let me ask you, because the U.S. sanctions on Cuba for decades, the U.S. sanctions on Venezuela, uh, they didn't work to the degree that the, the, those who were, who were there are still in power. Why would they work in Nicaragua? Well, l let me tell you something. Uh, what you're seeing in Nicaragua uh, in the last few weeks and in the last three years is more than what Maduro has done in Venezuela. He didn't overnight put in jail all the political uh, candidates, presidential candidates. Uh, Daniel Ortega has gone and, and have, uh, he's been accused of committing crimes against humanity. He's gone against uh, the political opponents. He's gone against students. He's gone against the poor farmers. He's gone against the church. He's gone against the, 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 the press. Um, you know, in the last few days, he has really occupied the offices of Carlos Fernando Chamorro, which is the most prominent journalist in Nicaragua, who is the brother of Cristiana Chamorro, who is uh, in house for arrest, who is a hostage of Daniel Ortega, and who is a, a presumed uh, candidate who could run against him, maybe with some other persons like Felix Maradiaga or... or or some of the other people, some of the other candidates who have been in jail. But when you say it didn't work in Cuba, so what will we do? Shall we ignore Daniel Ortega? Shall we allow Daniel Ortega to go after the political um, opponents? Should he go after and kill the students? Should we allow him to continue to uh, to use um, this, this sort of uh, brutal and... Uh, and merciless repression against the people of Nicaragua, we need to find ways. Yes, this is a different time. This is a different time because no one is going to invade Nicaragua. This is not a time when we had the Contra. The United States is not interested in intervening or occupying Nicaragua, but the United States is interested in maintaining some kind of uh, a national security throughout Central America. They have the problem of immigration. Nicaragua, we are a very small country with only 6 million inhabitants, but 100,000 of those people have already left the country to go to Costa Rica. We already destabilized in Costa Rica, and, just, and that is not the only country. People will rush to go to the United States. Bian Therefore, Bianca Jagger, we're out of time, but just very, very, in 30 seconds, what do you do then? No matter what, should the opposition go to elections in December or should it boycott if this continues? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, the idea of going to an election, this is an illusion that we have. If only the international community have come in force to support it, we could have dream or, uh, or maybe fight for free elections. But at this point, with all the political candidates, which one exception, with two exceptions, how can we have free elections in Nicaragua? Who's going to run against Daniel Ortega?